All right, guys. And now let's solve it using substitution. Okay. Solving the substitution is not bad at all. And it's the second review we are doing for uh, systems. The reason we're going we're gonna to review this is because this works so with nonlinear systems, which is going to be for this object. But our review today is with linear systems. So, so we're going to start with a very basic example. First equation tells me y equals negative 6. Second equation, the linear standard form, tells me x plus 18. And I need to find the error that is both these equations. So good news is uh, y equals negative 6. And notepad, it's not the best. Um, Negative six. We already have the answer for our y coordinate. All right. I'm going to go ahead and enter that. So y equals negative six. All right. Um, so I actually need to find my x coordinate. And the way that I'm going to do that is, well, surprise, surprise, by substituting. So I'm going to work with my second equation, which is negative eight x. I don't know what x is. We're going to solve for it. All right. Plus eight times y. My y is negative six. It's already been solved for me. Should be equal to 16. So when I take whatever serious x value I'm looking for, multiply it by negative 8, and add the product of 8 and negative 6, I should get 16. So this actually turns out to be a simple linear equation. Uh, so here I go. Negative 8x. 8 times negative 6 gives me negative 48. All right. So 8x minus 48 equals 16. All right. Two-step equation, I'm going to add 48 to both sides. So I have negative 8x equals, and 16 plus 48 is 64. And now all I have to do is divide both sides by negative 8. So x is equal to negative 8 itself, all right? Because negative 8 times negative 8 would give me 64, all right? And we go ahead and enter this saying, claiming that our solution is negative 8, negative 6. We could also check this by graphing. Um, and we would see that this is the ordered pair where these two equations, these two functions intersect. All right, we submit that. It says we're terrific. Um, and that's kind of where you get started with, with substitution. All right, uh, let's jump up a couple of levels right here to some tough tougher ones here we have another one that's already solved for one of my two variables um here's one where we um have two functions and we have we don't know what either of the two solutions are all right so no fear that is actually not that bad all right and i know that there's a quicker way for me to erase all this all right but um Substitution still works here, right? What I need to see is that this first function has been solved for y, right? My second function has also been solved for y, so I can actually set both of them equal to each other. So I'm going to say 8x minus 6 is equivalent to 10x minus 10, all right? And I'm going to knock out this equation. I'm not going to show all the steps just uh, for time's sake, all right? But, uh, I can subtract 8x. So negative 6 equals 2x minus 10. I can add 10 to both sides, and I'll be left with 4 equals 2x. In other words, x has to be equal to 2. All right? And so I've got that. And now it's really just like the previous problem. I can take my x of 2, substitute it into either of these, and I should get the same y value. So I'm going to do both of them just to check it out. 10 times 2 is 20 minus 10 is 10. So my y should be 10. I can try it in my second one. 8 times 2, 16 minus 6 equals 10. I'm going to submit. I feel very good about that. All right. and that is all by substitution. I uh, hope that that helped you out. Uh, and any, if any of these get any more difficult, really it would be you might get two linear functions that are not in y equals. Just put them in y equals um, with the method that we showed in the previous video. Uh, solve for y and uh, set both linear functions equal to each other. You can always double check your work by graphing. That's fair. It's okay because you can open up Desmos at any time. Uh, but that is how you solve using substitution. All right, fantastic.